Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kushner, and today I want to show you how we can use the adjustments to change the lighting and make your animals look more realistic in the space. So here's kind of where we left off here. Um, looks like I've got the water, I added my sky, I added my animal. And now what I'm noticing is that my animal in this space, um, I created the shadow, if you can see it down here and I'm happy with the way that looks. Um, if you notice that your shadow needs to be lighter or darker, um, just to show you on the right side, there's there's two ways to view your layers. There's this top tool up here that gives you a thumbnail, and then there's another way of viewing your layers. Um, I like this way of viewing my layers because I can see my masks, I can see every detail. So I'm on layer two. Remember that we went over to this third tool down on the right here, and those are my layer properties. So I can change the opacity of my shadow over here, and that's a review from yesterday. So I'm, I'm liking the way that that's looking right now. Um, but there's some other things that I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click off of this to get rid of that. I wanna now switch layers. I'm gonna go to my top layer here, which is my animal, and I'm gonna click on the mask part because that is the part that I've masked out. That's the part that I wanna mess with. So I'm gonna go back now to my layer properties and then here are some of the other tools. If you go um, a little bit further down from opacity, uh, you'll see where it says add clipped adjustment. So I'm gonna click that and now I've got some choices here. So right now I'm looking at this deer and it's a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna click on brightness and contrast and you can see that in my layers, it's adding an adjustment layer right on top of that. Um, and now if I just bring down the brightness a little bit, it's not as intense. Um, I can work with my contrast too if I wanted a little more gray or I can move it to the right if I wanted a little bit more intense. Uh, but I still wanna kind of bring down the, the brightness a little bit because I see that it's really bright on the left side of my image and if the light's shining down, um, I wanna reflect that. Um, and then when I'm done here, I can go back and unclick and there I am. If I wanna add more things, so I did brightness contrast, but maybe I wanna mess with it some more. I click back on my animal, go back to my layer properties, and now I can add another clipped adjustment. Um, so this is more like color balance. If I wanna play with the curves, uh, exposure is how bright it is. Just to show you, I can bring down the exposure. Wow, that makes it super dark. Um, but you can see that's like bringing it down. Um, and then if I say, you know, let's see, how did that look? If I turn it on or off, see it like darken the tail a little bit. I actually really like that, but you can decide, you know, by clicking this eyeball to turn it on or off. I'm going to go back to my deer one more time on the mask. And now I'm going to go ahead and click and go add clipped adjustment. And I want to show you this hue saturation. So that's dealing with the color. Uh, the hue is actually the, the color. So you'll see if I move this, it's going to make it greener or more red. And actually looking at the sky, I've got of those reds and purples. So if I wanted to warm this up, instead of it being kind of neutral, I might bring it a little bit, make it a little bit more warm. Um, but I notice the ears get super pink when I do that. So maybe not. Um, saturation is how intense the color is. So if I bring it to the left a little bit, it's gonna make it a little more gray. If I bring it to the right, it's gonna intensify the color. So that's too intense, but I think I like it a little bit more gray, a little more subdued. Um, and then the lightness, right? So if I want it lighter or more darker. So those are all things that you can do. Um, and later on when we do our next project, there's a really cool feature just to show you. If you click on colorize, um, you can actually change the color here. So see how it's like the whole thing is turning green or blue or pink um, or purple. So you can do that if you want. I'm gonna turn that off for now. I don't think that's really realistic, but it's a cool feature. Um, and then I can also look down here um, and there's opacity. So like, how much do I want that effect to show? So I'm gonna leave it 100. I like it just like that. So those are just some things you can do. And when I'm done, I just go ahead and turn off my layer properties. And now you can see I've added the brightness layer, the exposure layer, and the hue layer. And that's all going over here to my image. So when I am finished with my image, I've made any other corrections or adjustments or things I wanna do. I'm gonna go to the top right to this box with the arrow. And I'm going to go ahead and click quick export. And that is going to send a picture. So I'll say save image. That's going to send a picture to my camera roll. And now I can go into Google Classroom and upload it. 
as an image and then I can also go to the Padlet and you'll see that the image is actually on my camera roll. I've got all kinds of random stuff on my camera roll, but it should have gone to the bottom. So, hmm, I don't actually see it. I'm gonna try that again. Let's see what happened. Box with the arrow, quick export, save image. And it says export is complete. So it should go to my camera roll here. Um, recent, so let's do that. Okay, so you see I had to switch. It wasn't showing up in my library. I had to switch where it says recent. So that's a good rule of thumb and you can see it saved twice there. So do that. All right.